There is a way on the iPhone to lock apps using your face ID or your passcode, but it's not very straightforward. You can't just hold down on an app to lock the app. So I wanted to make this video to show you exactly how to lock apps on your iPhone. And this works on any iOS that you have as long as it's over iOS 14. Step one is using the shortcuts app on your phone. If you don't have the shortcuts app, it actually comes with every iPhone. But in case if you deleted that app, you could look up in the app store, the app shortcut, this is the icon for it, and either download it or open it if you already have it. And if you've never used the shortcuts app, that's okay. You just have to follow these steps. In the shortcut apps, press automation right here in the middle. And I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one here so I start exactly brand new. Now let's go ahead and create a personal automation. That's the next step we need to click on. And there's an option over here if you scroll down called apps. Okay, this is what we need to choose app right here. And in this app automation, in this new automation, I'm gonna choose right here, press choose. And I need to choose the apps that I want to lock. Now you could use multiple apps and you could always edit this page. Let's just say I'm gonna lock Amazon here and I'm gonna lock the App Store as well so no one could download any apps on this phone without a passcode. I'm gonna press done. So two apps have been added. Anytime you could come back here and edit this list. In this case, I'm gonna press next. And on this page, let's go ahead and search for timer. So I'm gonna just search for timer here and start timer is what we want. So let's go ahead and select start timer and we need to change the time up here. So I'm gonna change this to second I'm gonna change it to one second. So you want yours to look like this, one second. And then I'm gonna press next. And this is what the automation looks like. When any of these apps are opened, it's gonna start a timer in one second. And I need to turn off ask before running. We don't want that here. So this is what you want yours to look like and press done. Okay, now this automation is set so we could exit the shortcuts app but we need to do one more thing. We need to open the clocks app. So let me go ahead and find the clocks app. This is the clocks app. Let's go ahead and open it here. And we need to go to timer on the bottom and we need to change when timer ends. We need to select this and we need to go all the way to the bottom and stop playing and then press set on top. Now, everything else could remain the same. We don't need to change anything else, but I'm gonna exit this app now. So now if I try to open one of the apps I locked, which the app store I locked. So if I press it, it's gonna open the app store, but immediately it's gonna lock my phone because the timer is running. So now I do have to unlock my phone to see that app. So I need face ID or I need a passcode. So if I type in my passcode, now I get access to the app, right? Now, if I close this again, and if I jump back in there again, the same exact thing happens. The automation runs and I get blocked. Now, if you wanna end this automation, you just look up the shortcuts app one more time. You could click on this automation, just in the automations tab, the only one we created so far, and you could disable this automation just like that and press done. With this disabled, anytime you go to that app, so if I press the app store, it's not gonna lock me anymore. It's gonna let me jump in just like that. And it's that easy to lock any app on your iPhone using Face ID or passcode or whatever method is locking your phone's home screen. I hope you found this quick video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.